Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus, who is the resurrected Christ. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. He is God Almighty, and He is the light of the world. That's right. Our God is the light that shines brightly in a dark world. And we're praying that God would shine his light in the life of each and every one of you during this season, during this time, so that you might fulfill the plans that he has for you, even in the darkest of times that we have to go through. Today, we're going to be reading from John chapter eight, the gospel according to John chapter eight and verse 12 from the new King James version of the word of God. John chapter 8 and verse 12 says, Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of light. Amen. What a word from God. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. As we go to God today in prayer, according to John chapter eight and verse 12, we want to pray number one and ask God to continue to speak to us. It said, Jesus spoke to them again. We want to continually hear God's voice speaking to us. Secondly, we want to pray and thank God that Jesus is the light of the world. The world in which we live in has so much darkness, but we want to pray and thank God that Jesus is the light of the world. Thirdly, we want to ask God to help us to follow Jesus closely so that we can walk in his light in the dark world that we live in. And then fourthly and finally, we want to pray and ask Jesus to illuminate our path with the light of life. Come on, let's pray together. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you boldly before your throne of grace today that we might find grace and help and light in our dark seasons, in our time of need. God, we thank you for the invitation to pray to you. You said that we would come to you. You would show us great and mighty things. We thank you for the instructions to come to you because you told us to come to you humbly, Lord, to humble ourselves up under your mighty hand that in due time you might exalt us. Lord, we come today confessing that we've sinned and we've fallen short of your glory. God, God we got tripped up by the plans and the tricks of the enemy. We stumbled and we failed. We, we fall in short of your glory. And for that, we're godly sorry, God. And we pray for the forgiveness of sin, according to 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9. We thank you for forgiveness through the blood of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray and know that we have time in which we live in, which is dark. And these seasons are difficult because of the darkness in which we live. But we thank you that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Our prayer today, Lord, is that you'll continue to speak to us even in our dark situations, that we'll continue to hear your voice and that we won't follow another one even in our darkest times. God, speak to us in our midnight situations. We listen for your voice. We want to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Lord, we pray and thank you that not only do you continue to speak to us, but we pray and thank you that you tell us that Jesus is the light of the world. Lord, when darkness comes in, when darkness overshadows us, we thank you, Lord, that you are the source of our light, that you are the light source for our life. And we praise you and glorify you, Lord, that you are the light of the world and that you shine brightly, that the good news that Jesus died on the cross and God, you raised him from the dead, and that he's alive forevermore, gives us hope even in our darkest times. We thank you, Lord God, that you are the light that illuminates our pathway. So praise God. We ask you to help us to follow you closely in these dark seasons. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil for we know you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. God, when we have to go through the shadowy periods in our life, when we have to go through the difficult periods in our life, when we have to go through the dark periods in our life, thank you that you are our shepherd that you will lead us and guide us through the valleys of the shadows of death and bring us out on the other side to a table that is prepared for us in the presence of our enemies. So we thank you, Lord. We just ask you to help us to walk closely and more closely with Jesus each 
and every day. Lord, let us not stray to the right hand or stray to the left, but let us walk in the path that you have set before us. Let us walk in the narrow way. Thank you, Lord, for your leadership and help us to, Lord, follow you closely. Lord, we ask that you would illuminate our pathway with the light of life. You said you are your word is a lamp unto our feet. It is a light into our pathway. So illuminate our life, Lord. Illuminate our path with the light of life. Lord, let your word guide us. Lord, let your truth guide us. Lord, lead us and guide us into all truth, even in the darkness that we live in. God, we thank you for your light. We thank you for your love. And we thank you for life in your light. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Again, today is day number five as we're praying about light in a dark world. I don't know what you may be going through. Maybe things have gotten dim in your life. Maybe things have gotten dark in your life. Maybe you're going through a dark and a depressed situation. I want you to know that even in the darkness of the world, Jesus is the light of the world. And that when you have Jesus in your life, you have the light of all men and women. So walk in that light, stay close to that light, and Jesus will illuminate your pathway and show you the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by him. I pray he'll shine brightly in your life today, but not only you. I'm praying that he'll uh, shine brightly in the life of everyone around you. You can start that process by just simply sharing this prayer series with someone else. You never know what they may be going through. You never know what kind of light you'll share with them and you never know what kind of darkness they may be in, but the light of Jesus Christ can show them the way out. So we'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. I love you in the Lord until then be victorious. God bless.